Because we've done priority, we've got to run around and talk to everyone. Yeah, you could. It appears I have that effect on humans. Yeah. Now quarians as well, it seems. On everyone, actually. Quarians understand what it's like to lose your home. As I understand, that was your own fault. Huh. What do you mean? In my cycle, quarians didn't need helmets to survive. Oh. You were the masters of your own planet. That would be that nice. That was a long time ago. And if you hadn't given birth to the machines, oh. you would still breathe the air that evolution intended. Yeah. Yeah. What? And nothing about this cycle is what I expected. Even primitive quarians were considered attractive in my eyes. Oi! A pity no one can appreciate it now. Right. You know what? I think I have something important to do now. God. I won't keep you. Hostility? Oi, twat. They're called Geth. Yeah, yes, they are. A formidable opponent. Why did you allow one on this ship? Because it's good. Legion helped us before. It's still a machine. Machines in your cycle? I take it you had your own problems with AI? The Jatil. Hey. They as the get are to this cycle. What happened? They died. Their creators lived on a dying world. Huh. It was beyond their ability to save. So they resorted to implants to enhance their intelligence. Hands. I think I know where this is going. Do I? No. The AI sees the physical body. Oh. And it could alter the genetic material at the deepest level. Oh dear, moldy. In time, the offspring were molded into a slave race. Few organic traces were left. They were monsters. All machines commit treachery. That's right, the Dodge. Brought on board is no different. Yeah, he is. Maybe. But he's not like the other guys. What do you mean, maybe? You can't know that. They are more alien than you and I are to each other. What? Just because Legion isn't like us doesn't mean he can't be trusted. You're wrong. Mm. Throw it out the airlock. Throw you out the airlock. Be that certain. Organics do not know how we were created. Got a stupid head some anyway. Say by chance, some say by miracle. It is a mystery. Yeah? But synthetics. Yeah? No, we created them. Oh. And they know we are flawed. Why do you say that? They're flawed as well. They are immortal. They die when they shoot when they see time as an illusion. When they're shot. They are trapped by its limitations. Above all, machines know the reason Flesh. they created. Edie might disagree with that. But I see your point. He washes his hands in blood. They serve a purpose, while we search aimlessly for ours. In their eyes, organics have no reason to exist. However. Do not trust them, Commander. Must be another way. I can't believe there isn't some way for us to coexist. Let's start believing. You made them. You're in one. And then gave them the power to surpass you. There is room for only one order of consciousness in the galaxy. The perfection of the machines or the chaos of the organics. Oh. I'm running the machine out of the airlock, Commander. I'm running out of things to say to conversations now. I guess. I don't know, maybe I'm just not as in as much of a respondy mood today. I want to get into the action. But i got to keep recording the session until it's... So I hear the elusive man drinks Does he? Need anything, Commander? No! Yeah. These guys I never I need think. anything. Commander. No. To report. Would... Would he... Legion be down here? He's not in his usual place. Oh, what? Model Touring Cruiser, that was a bit invisible. God, the most important one is the hardest to find. Good. Hmm, is this... No, no, no. Uh, I'm falling down tired. Hi. I need a folding chair or Don't look like you are. I talked with Williams. Oh. Between the 212, Horizon, and the Council's other guards. Like death just follows her around. Yeah, everyone dies when she is around. Throw her off the ship. Put her out of the airlock. Might as well. I always love the M35, Mick. What? It's got heart. No, it hasn't. Oh, come on. 
The M44 hammerhead is vastly superior. Damn straight. Come on, that thing's made of tissue paper. What? At least the Mako can take a few hits. No. I'd hope so. That thing handles like a drunk rhino. Exactly. No agility whatsoever. More like a bull. No. Climb and climb for days. Fat man on a unicycle. It only climbs because of its stupid, vertically aligned mass effect field. Yeah. Jump or stick. No speed. No lateral movement. Yeah. Hey, with a cannon like that, who needs to move? Mm. If you want that, why don't you just stick with the old M29 Grizzly? What is that? Yeah, I love that take. <laughs> you would be one to love grizzly bears, Mr. Vega. Yeah. <laughs> What's so funny? You're the one who laughed as well. Commander, you flew that Geth fighter out of the dreadnought? I did. Actually, Legion did the piloting. Oh. I was stuck in a storage compartment with my squad. Oh, and Garrus was in there. more time with that ship. Too bad we sent it to hack its team so quickly. Did we? Why? Don't do that. Let's upgrade some weaponage. What have I got? Arc pistol. I don't know. Can I upgrade the suppressor and the geth pulse rifle? What is it? Suppressor and the geth pulse rifle. Can I? Geth pulse rifle. Seems pretty damn good and it's got tons of ammo. Put it all the way. And the suppressor? Yeah? Ugh, why do I have to scroll all the way down? I mean, what else am I going to use the money for now, eh? Nothing. Yup. Oh, I was going to do this forever now. Hi, chunky man. Oh, great. Hey, Commander. Hi. Sounds like you guys had a crazy ride over there. What? How did you get here? You could say that. Sorry, I missed it. No, you're not. And that Geth Legion. I mean, I'm not. I know you two have a past, but you sure we can trust it? Yeah. Probably. Legion's not like other Geth. We can trust her. If you say so. For now. I guess you can't always judge an individual by their species. Not a species. Look at Sparks. If all the Corians were like her, we wouldn't be stuck refereeing their war with the Geth. Is it a species? Sparks. Yeah, your Corian friend. The jumpy one with the glowing eyes. What? Sparks. What? Uh-huh. Yeah. Crazy that they pick now to start a fight. But I guess the end of life is we know it can make everybody a little loco. Loco. Just a little? Just a tinge bit. Not everybody's as crazy as you, man. Yeah, got that right. Oi! Oh, I'm, I'm not wandering all the way back over there. Hello. Hello, you little scabbard. What? Yeah, stick a sword in it. Right, back to the Shitadel. Oh, no, maybe a bit of scanning first. Actually, we should probably do everything that isn't priority before we go back so we can hand in some things. I guess that's the priority over there. Nimna. Is there a new one here? Argus Row. Let's go to Argos and buy some things. Boom! I'll always love Argos because I remember the time I got a laser tag thingy there. When I was but a wee lad. Oh, look at the fuel consumption on this baby. It's pretty massive. Hopefully there's some here. Otherwise, I can't get back. I found something. Yeah, you did. It was Pinnacle Station. No. From the first game. A DLC which I don't have. Unless it's free. Turian Spec Ops, what are they doing there? Dunno, but, but I'm glad they were. Because Turians, oh, there we go. That'll be all then. Reapers eluded. Elusive. Let's get some of that fuel. Mmm, tasty. Now we gotta get That's out again. And finally. No, not nearly finally. There's loads of places to do. Da -ba -da -ba Stuff. Fossilised Cacliosaur. What a strange thing. 
to find. Alright, hopefully we can make it to this place down here. Oh, it doesn't look like we can. Yeah, it does. Gorgon. Gorgonzola cheese. Signal confirmed. Whenever I think of Gorgonzola cheese, I remember an episode of Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. The TV show. Where someone had... Well, there was like this weird... Actually, I think, I think it was Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. There's like an episode where there was this weird stone thing. And it granted wishes and someone asked for... Like, the power of Swiss. As in, like, he wanted the golden touch. And he meant, like, Swiss bank account or whatever the hell. But he got the power of, like, everything he touches turns to cheese. I found something. The whole... That always scared me, because he ends up touching a person, and the person turns to cheese. I mean, obviously it's quite comedic, but... I don't know. People's bodies and stuff, and genetic makeup or whatever the hell, scares me and creeps me out. Just like a certain movie, I don't remember what it was called. But it was about oh hello oh fuel, but it was about some kind of aliens that showed up and like if anyone like comes into successful. contact with them they like get turned into dust, like turned into ash or whatever. I don't like that. It creeps me out for some reason. Fuel reactors. What's that all about? And there's an episode of Stargate SG One. I don't remember specifics, but there's like. Some guy. I hate guys. What? No, as in there's some guy, and like, I don't remember what was wrong with him, but there's there's this point where suddenly he like turns into water, and splashes, and you know it's just just something scary about that. Like, you know, just one mere moment, and he ceases to be. Dr. July is jelly factory. Hey look, some fuel. I've also had nightmares of or I've had at least one nightmare. Oh what what is this? Oops. I've had one nightmare that I can remember anyway. Where my bloody family turned to dust. That's not very nice, is it? Let's have Tally since it's temporary. It is temporary. Right. Oh, Garrus. Here, have a good gun for once. Yeah, I guess so. Have an N7. No, don't. Quarian? Why did I not? Oh, I did. Nah, just have the upgraded one. Why not? Wait, why does it not have mods? Because it's a different weapon. Sorry about this. Okay. That we're not gonna have her for long. It matters for Garrus though. Right, yeah. Are mine good? They are. Mine seem to keep whatever I put on them, but the others don't. Ah, uh, what is this anyway? Oh yeah. Oh. What happened to the troop station there? Unknown, but no fuel means no fleet presence in this theater. Oh dear. The enemy will operate on Jack. Let's kill him. I need you to get in there, find out what's going on, and get those reactors back on. I will do just that. Captain Riley's on site doing preliminary recon. She leads one of our top engineering teams. We'll get to the bottom of this, Admiral. Or Good, hack it out. Why do we want to get to the bottom of it? That would mean we're under it. Don't we want to get to the top of it? You can do a lot more from up high. Riley is on point, oh, hello there, your mouth didn't move. Oh. What were those things we were carrying? They were sticks. Anyway, uh, yeah, in the next part, we'll do whatever this is. In sexy land here.